sun is rising, your shadows fall behind, when all the weight you carry is weighing on your mind, I'll be there to show you all the things you're missing. Everything we go through, I'll be by your side. So let's run away to far away places, escape from this life we have known. Your eyes are new worlds to discover. Your heart is the place I call home. Whoa. Life is an adventure anywhere we are, and no season that we enter can ever be too hard. So let's run away to far away places, escape from this life we have known. Your eyes are new. To discover your heart is the place I call home. When the sun 
is fading and the years have all gone by I will still be waiting to lead you through the night so let's run away to far away places escape from this life we have known your eyes are new to discover your heart is the place I call home let's run away to far away places we'll make a new life of our own your eyes are new worlds to discover your heart is the place I call Test, test, test. Okay, I'm sitting here. My name is Curtis Strange. I'm on the floating dock just right in front of our big rock landing. Just a quick update for everyone who has maybe heard or maybe not heard that we have a fish on a boat coming in uh, just outside. We think the inlet right now, ETA is maybe another 15 minutes. That we're not sure about either, but just remember, Big fish is 521, that's leading. 428 is 448 is second. So anything over 400 pounds, which is legal, anything over 400 pounds is going to take over third place in the uh, 63rd Big Rock Tournament. So look forward to it. We're waiting with anticipation, just like all of you guys. Stay with us. We'll be back here shortly.
All right, check, check, check. Good afternoon, Big Rock fans. Thank you for being here today for the beginning of day four of our coverage here in the record-breaking 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Um, we are all anticipating the arrival of the Dancing Outlaw, a charter boat that ties up about a block here to the east. Curtis, let's set the stage for everybody. What do we got? Well, we all know Big Fish caught two days ago 521 pounds first place. We all know that. Anything over obviously takes over first place. We uh, had a fish the first day, 448, which is in second. Anything over 400 pounds take over, takes over third place, okay? Anything over 400, that's legal, takes over third place. But we don't know how big it is. All We're right. in the dark like you guys. Thank so here you, they come. Let's welcome the dancing outlaw here to Big Rock Landing. They can hear you now. Let's welcome them here to Big Rock Landing. <laughs> Captain Joey Rivenbark from right here in Moorhead City. You'll recognize this boat as the winner of the 1999 Big Rock Tournament. Different boat, different crew, but the same outlaw spirit, I'm sure. So just to let you know, our way station crew is going to take care of a little business in the boat, maybe take a couple of measurements, and then we will see uh, how much this girl weighs here. Okay, we're going to need to encourage our way station crew here in a little bit, too. All right, here we go. All right, let's hear it for the Dancing Outlaw and encourage our crowd here. One more. There you go. All right, as Curtis said, second place is 448.8. First place currently 521.6. Four nineteen point three. This is your new third place fish. Now now don't don't be disappointed. Just so you'll know, third place in the 63rd annual Big Rock Tournament. 301,800 reasons to be very happy right now. So we're, we're going to take some pictures here. We're going to let the family in here in a minute and let everybody celebrate together. 
and then we'll talk to um, to some of our crew members perhaps. All right, here's our angler, Dean Pretty. 419.3 pounds on the Dancing Outlaw. Moving into third place here on day four of the record-breaking 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. All right, we've got a few more pictures here. We'll talk to talk to our angler here in just a second.
Joey? 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 Are you done with pitchers for a little while? Yeah, I was going to get one in Memphis when we're all said and done, but we're in a rush. We got in early. All right, well, well, while we're waiting for uh, the angler and taking lots of pictures, I've got the captain of the Dancing Outlaw with me, Joey Rivenbark. I will tell you that I've known Joey since he was born. Talks about how old I am. Joey, congratulations and welcome to Big Rock Landing. Tell us about this fish. Well, thank you, Tommy. It was, uh, it was a hot bite. It was a teaser bite. It was actually uh, my mate Tyler, his first pitch off a teaser. I'd say it was a pretty good one. He did, a, he did an excellent job hooking the fish. Um, real hot fish, come in there fast, peeled off a lot of line and stayed on top, and we got him before he went down. So it's pretty quick. And uh, Dean, the whole crew did excellent. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be close, but not having a third place if we made the right call. Yeah, I, I agree with you, and I was going to ask you about that. Did you, did you have a good look at the fish right off the bat? Uh, no, he jumped about 100 yards out, and that's when we decided to get ready for the real deal. But right out the gate, he was just in the water, fast moving, and I didn't see him. I didn't think he was big enough, but when he jumped that first time, it was like game on. Yeah, I, I know it kind of happened real quick. What what was the time from uh, hookup to boating the fish? Forever. <laughs> no, it was, it was like 30, 45 minutes, I think. Not long at all. Yeah, so it, Joey said it uh, seemed like forever. It was 30 minutes, and I imagine that it did. Um, congratulations to you, Joey, uh, making memories here in the uh, 63rd Annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Third place for right now. How many days you got left? We're going to go tomorrow. It'll be our last day. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we'll see you back. I sure hope C so. Congratulations. Joey Rivenbark here, everybody, the captain of the Dancing Outlaw. <laughs> Dean? Tell us, Dean, where you are from and how many uh, Big Rock tournaments you've been fishing in. Uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. I think this is our 13th. Wow, how about that? Lucky number 13, huh? Yeah, so far, yeah. <laughs> Joey, Joey says you did a great job in the chair. Tell us uh, your perspective of what happened today. Well, actually, it was Joey and Tyler. Uh, Joey spotted the fish. Tyler hooked it. I was up in the uh, cabin fixing Joey one of them fine big rock pork chops from last night when the fish got on. <laughs> so I think the pork chops what did it. <laughs> no, uh, uh, good, good fish, good fight. Uh, everybody did everything right. Great team effort. That's what matters in this. Yeah. Is this your first visit to Big Rock Landing? No, visited last year. Got a, got a 470.4, and um, so we've uh, we've done okay over the years. Uh, first, second, and third, and catch and release. And uh, and Joey has just uh, been on tear lately. So hats off to Joey and Tyler. Yeah. They, they, they caught the fish. No, I, I don't think so. It is, it is a team effort. Um, third place right now. Have you looked at this prize money? $301,800. I don't look until Saturday after the tournament's over. I don't blame you, but, but there is a smile on your face, and I don't blame you for that either. Yeah. It's a good feeling, a good position to be in, no doubt. It's a good feeling, absolutely. It's great to see everybody here. This is great charity event, great for the local economy, and uh, we're just fortunate to be able to do this. Well, Dean, I, I thank you for that. I can't say anything else to top that. Congratulations to you. Joey says you got one day left. Maybe we'll see you back again. Who knows? Thanks, sir. Thank you.
All right, we've got a special guest here at Big Rock Landing. This is Finn the Marlin from the Moorhead City Marlins baseball team. And I've, and I've got Finn's handler here. Tell us who you are and where you're from. I'm Katie, and I'm from Durham, North Carolina. Katie, we won't hold that against you, but that's okay. Tell us, I got to get down here so I can see you. Tell us about Finn and what's going on at Big Rock Stadium here uh, tomorrow night. So tomorrow night is our first ever fireworks show at Big Rock Stadium, and we really want all of you to come out. We have been pushing this for a long time, and we're expecting it to be a very big game. Tomorrow night at 7.05 is first pitch. Please come out to the Rock. Yeah, so you can go You can go see a great fireworks show tomorrow at Big Rock Stadium, of course, named after the Big Rock Tournament. You can see Finn the Marlin over there, and I'm sure Finn will stick around for a little while and take some pictures perhaps. Um, Katie, the Moorhead City Marlins, champions two years in a row, right? Yes, sir, that's right. Hoping for a three-peat. So good quality baseball to go along with an outstanding fireworks show and a great family-friendly environment over at Big Rock Stadium. Yes, sir, that's right. Please come out. We have such a great time, so many changes at the Rock, and we really appreciate all of you if you please come. All right, so you got a chance to go visit, uh, go see Finn the Marlin tomorrow, see a great fireworks show. Uh, the timing is going to be perfect because our scales will close at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. And you can slide right out of here over to Big Rock Stadium and see the Moorhead City Marlins uh, play some championship-level baseball. Thanks, thanks, Finn. Thanks, Katie. Good luck tomorrow night.
Well, y'all, the Dancing Outlaws getting ready to, to depart here. Currently in third place, a 419.3 pound blue marlin. You are looking at $301,800 in prize money at the moment. I know Dean said he's not going to count it yet. I don't blame him, but he will leave Big Rock Landing right now with a smile on his face. No question about it. All right, let's send them off appropriately. Congratulations, Dancing Outlaw, Captain Joey Rivenbark, Dean Pretty, currently in third place here in the record-breaking 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament.
All right, welcome back to the Sunbrella Dockside Studio. Tommy Bennett here with you for uh, the remainder of the afternoon. I'm pleased to be joined by Dr. Tracy Mancini, the uh, the president now of Carter Community College. Tracy, welcome to uh, our studio perch here on the Moorhead City waterfront. Thank you so much, Tommy. I really want to send our congratulations to the Big Rock for an amazing tournament this year. Yeah, we're, what, what, a, what a week so far. Yeah. And uh, Tracy, I know you were with us last year. Let's say you had been on the job about 10 days yeah. last year. A lot has changed, has it not, for you? There's so much going on at the college this year. We're really pleased. Uh, we opened our Hospitality and Culinary Arts Center, mm -hmm. which is very visible from 70 or and, Rundle and, Street. And spectacular, too, I, I will tell you. It's a beaut beautiful facility. And so we're, we're pleased about that and welcome people to come have lunches, dinners there with us. Uh, but really, we're very excited about the opening of our Big Rock Career Center mm -hmm. uh, right on Arundel Street. We're partnering with NC Works in that building and doing job fairs every day, bringing in a lot of folks to try and get employees for the numerous employers in the county who are looking for workers. Yeah, now what Tracy is referencing is a uh, recent donation, an, an additional donation from the Big Rock Tournament to the community college that was uh, used for the renovation, rehab, and upfit of an existing building on Highway 70. That's right. Uh, very prominent location as you come into town and was uh, rebranded as the Big Rock Career Center. Uh, so, we, and of course, uh, you know, we're just delighted with the way it worked out. Uh, Great signage for us on the side of the building, too. Oh, so, it, you know, we certainly want to think we, about the Big Rock there. We couldn't be more pleased. Um, in fact, I mean, the Big Rock Foundation has given the college over $336,000 oh, yeah. over the last 10 years uh, for our MarTech Boat Building Center, uh, the Big Rock Lab in there. But now Big Rock Career Center is really, is really important for our community. There are so many of our local businesses looking for employees. And we are uh, sponsoring job fairs and uh, bringing people in daily to try and get work here. You know, now it's, it's open to not just students, right? That's right. Anyone in the community can stop by. Uh, the NC Works office is there, and people can come in to sign up for benefits and unemployment services and employment services. Right. And while they're there, they can meet with a career coach. Mm -hmm. uh, they can uh, get resume help. Work on the resume, yeah. interview mm -hmm. skills mm -hmm. assistance. It's, okay. it's really such a need in our community, and we're, we're thrilled to be yeah. able to have it yeah. right there on yeah. the it's, Street. Uh, it, boy, it really, it really turned out great, didn't it? it I, I know you all are really it happy. It was a, a strip mall split up into five small little stores, and we basically gutted the building and opened it up, and now it's just bright shiny and really ready to help people yeah now i'm gonna tell a little story on dr mancini here also um she she might i don't know this might not go too well with her but if you get invited to go to the college by dr mancini that probably means you're going to get some fresh homemade tracy mancini chocolate chip cookies too so it's worth uh, taking her up on an invitation if you get invited uh, to the community college. Sorry about that. It's I don't true. know if that means the, you'll have to make some more cookies. Cats out of the bag. If you get some Spacey Tracy's cookies yep. if you come visit us at the college. And, 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 and really, it's worth the trip. <laughs> you have to come. You have to come try them. Uh, we, we say that you don't know what's at the college until you've been inside of our buildings because our labs, our students, our instructors are fantastic. And we just are so proud of them and love taking people through the buildings to see what we've got. And Tommy, right now, I'd love to, yeah. to talk for just a minute, too, about some opportunities we have for anyone. The Governor Cooper has put out the mm -hmm. North Carolina Long Leaf Commitment. And right now, any 2021 high school graduates are eligible for two free years of tuition at the community college. Wow. And yeah, so it's a perfect time to start your four-year degree at Carteret Community College. All the classes you take will transfer to UNC institutions and to a lot of the private institutions in the state as well. Uh, then in addition to that, we've been given some federal funds uh, through the Higher Education Emergency Relief Fund to disperse to students for tuition, fees, books, supplies, childcare. Uh, so we're really wow. there right now. If people need assistance to get 
on the road to a new career, yeah. uh, we are there. It sounds like a wonderful opportunity for uh, yeah. I- anybody, particularly particularly a recent high school graduate, as you said. Absolutely. Uh, but certainly, um, certainly the college is full of opportunity for um, people of all age groups. Absolutely. That's right. That's now right. let's let's talk about uh, you. You mentioned the the Martech Center yeah. uh, and the Big Rock Lab. Let let's talk about that. Tell us about that a little bit. Sure. Uh, Carter Community College has one of only three boat building and and uh, boat manufacture and service programs in the state out of fifty eight community colleges. Mm-hmm. And so we have a wonderful facility, unlike any other, called Martech Marine Technology Center. In it, we offer wood joinery classes. Uh, We have CNC router classes uh, for the community, nighttime classes for people who want to learn to to make signs and and all of that. Uh, That's been really popular this year. We have a group of people coming in and making Adirondack chairs, making signs. Uh, It's been, been great. We also have the only marine propulsion certificate in the state uh, that comes out of MarTech, and that's a three-class certificate uh, that allows you to work on outboard engines and go to work in Carteret County in an in-demand field. Yeah, and, and certainly uh, those guys, th- those jobs are plentiful here right now, and yes. the demand is very high. Yeah. Um, I know it's not in Carter County, but certainly the Hatteras plant was just purchased in New Bern. New Bern. And, uh, y- you know, so, so if you're out there and you have any notion that you want to work in the marine industry, uh, Carter County and Carter Community College is the place for you to be. Uh, continue your education, uh, get some new training. And it, it sounds like there's a job just about guaranteed for you uh, here in, in, our, in our area. Yeah, we have the uh, Boat Building Academy going on, and that's hooking people up directly with some of the boat builders. Uh, also, some of the new Parker Offshore has had some job fairs sure. at the Big Rock Career mm-hmm. Center, mm-hmm. and they've really been doing well, right. uh, Jarrett Bay there. So we're really excited to... Uh, hook people up with good jobs in our county. There you go. No pun intended. You mentioned the um, y- you mentioned the culinary and hospitality arts center. Yeah. Spectacular, beautiful building. Um, how has that? Uh, how has that gotten off to? Uh, uh, what kind of start has it gotten off to? Oh, fantastic start! I mean, we were we opened a little later than we expected to, and because of COVID, had to have a series of soft openings instead of a big gala. <laughs> uh, but we brought in a lot of groups, including Big Rock folks and sure. uh, chambers of commerce, municipalities. Uh, Rotary clubs, all kinds of people in the community, and now that we're able to open up, we've been having a, a summer series called the Savor the Summer Soiree, uh, where we're doing pairings with restaurants and distilleries, restaurants and breweries. Uh, it's been sold out, uh, and people yeah. are really enjoying the culinary. Yeah, I, I've had the, I've had the great pleasure of attending several of those, yes, you and, have. And, and, and it's worth it. Trust me, it, it it is worth it. So if again, if you get an invitation from Tracy to the college, you you better take it. And if you get a chance to attend one of the events at the uh, at the new Culinary Arts Center here on the uh, campus of Carter Community College, you, you better t- accept that invitation too because there's a lot of good stuff waiting for you. Yeah. Trust me. I love uh, to tell you about one thing. Sure, we're by, doing by all at, means. At the Culinary Center, it's it's really a new model for us. It you know in the past we would have a list of classes people could sign up for and you'd go on you'd sign up if you were interested, uh, but sometimes we wouldn't get enough students to make that cooking class make uh, mm-hmm. you know enough to run the class and so what we started is if if you can get a group of 10 or 12 people together and you want to have a pizza making class or you want to have a ravioli making class or a thai food class you just need to get in touch with us with your list of people let us know a good day and time and we are making those classes happen so how how, how would one go about getting in touch with somebody at the college like that that's great. Yeah, we should. You should contact Mary Schrantz in our life enrichment program okay. at the college. You can. I'm sure you can find them online, online somewhere. Yep. Her name is Mary Schrantz, and she's she's probably good at. Uh, or or even a main sw- even a that. main switchboard. I mean, can you call a number and say, Hey, I want to take that ravioli cooking class it, that Dr. Mancini spoke about. Exactly. Two 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 six thousand, and you. it'll get you there. There you and go. We're excited. Or www.carteret.edu. Very good. Very good. 
Tracy, I'm I've never seemed to be. Um, uh, I'm just always amazed at your energy um, when I'm around you. And boy, you you've come a long way in your knowledge of the college in a year. You're you you've got this down pat. So obviously the, that year has uh, has has done uh, very good for you, and you have served it very well. Uh, likewise, so. It's uh, been a great year. I, yeah, I'd, love, I'd love to give a shout-out to Brenda Reese. Absolutely. Who just is, is joining us here. Yep. Uh, Brenda is the executive director of the Carteret Community College Foundation, and I would love for her to say hello. Sure, and, sure, sure. Uh, she's, she's been We're instrumental. We're nothing if not flexible here. Yeah, come on back, Brenda. Yeah. Come on, Brenda. We'll Thanks. let you I do your your elevator Brenda. talk to him. That one's not going to work. You're going to have to use that one from Tracy. So, okay, this is my favorite saying of the of oh, the week is is there we go. tell <laughs> us who tell us who you are and where you're from. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Hello, uh, I'm Brenda Reach. I'm the executive director of the Carteret Community College Foundation, and we are so excited to be part of this uh, wonder wonderful week for our community. And we can't thank the Big Rock uh, Blue Marlin Tournament and the Big Rock Foundation enough for the support that they've given Carteret Community College. Yeah, Brenda, Brenda thank you for those kind words. And uh, to, to both of you ladies, thank you for being with us today. Um, thank you for taking your time, which is precious, and for being here. Um, and certainly, we're, we're um, thank you for your kind words regarding the Big Rock. We're, we're glad to be a big supporter of the community college for everything that it does for our community. So thank you so much for being here. Thank so, you. We're all right, so, so our, our coverage there. will continue here from the Dockside Sunbrella Studio, uh, day four of the record-breaking 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. We'll be with you here this afternoon until 7 o'clock when the scales close. Uh, be back certainly with more guests and more exciting updates here as the afternoon rolls on. Stay with us.
Well, welcome back here to the Sunbrella Dockside Studio. I'm pleased to be joined by several representatives from West Carter High School. Uh, starting over here on, on my right, Andy Wright, who's the band director uh, at West Carter High School. Troy Smith here uh, in the middle, uh, an assistant athletic director and uh, the head football coach at West Carter High School, uh, Daniel Barrow. Uh, I guess we're kind of continuing a walk through uh, some of our charitable recipients here, and certainly uh, West Carter High School, um, you know, the, the largest high school in, here in Carter County and, and uh, an excellent school. I am a graduate uh, of the uh, West Carter High School, so uh, go Patriots, no doubt. Um, Daniel, we uh, we gave some money to the uh, to the football program this year and the uh, and the sports program. Tell us about that real quick. Sure. Uh, more specifically, the weight room. Um, you know, our weight room was pretty much dis uh, destroyed by Florence. Uh, there, there was about uh, four inches of water in the weight room when I came back three days later. So uh, a lot of our equipment was warped, rusted, or you know, no longer usable. But we somehow managed another couple years with it. Um, we applied for the grant to uh, to kind of get get new equipment and, and and get some of that stuff replaced. And uh, I mean, it's it's going to have a huge impact. Uh, you know, we have uh, a minimum of 100 students every semester to take weight training. Uh, not to mention all the sports teams that that use the weight room. So I mean, we're talking hundreds of students every year that you know, and that equipment will be around for hopefully decades to come. And you know, t talking thousands of students over the course of the life of that equipment. Yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me have that back for just a second. Troy, there was another, um, another impact of that gift too. I know some of, while that equipment was, maybe it was usable, not in the best shape, but it, it got sent somewhere else too, didn't it, from the weight room? Yeah, so uh, one thing we, we try to do is uh, we, we really want to uh, build up our, our middle school athletic programs. And so uh, part of what we wanted to do with our old equipment is uh, with the old racks, is make sure the middle schools had something to help them build a foundation. And that way, by the time they get to high school, they, they got a little bit to build on and, you know, not starting fresh, but also just for them at that level to really uh, get fully into athletics and what it takes to be an athlete. Yeah, yeah, I know, um, you know, recently um, the, the superintendent was with us and he, and he was talking about an investment in the young people of Carter County, uh, particularly from the Big Rock Tournament. And I certainly think that's a great word to say, uh, you, you know, m money's like that. And, and the school system here is well funded. But if you could take something that's really good and give it, you know, that much more money and make it the very best, that seems to be what the Big Rock is about. And we're delighted to do that. So, Troy, hand that over to, to Andy. We're, we're going to switch gears here a little bit. Andy's the band director, uh, the, the world famous West Carter High School band. Andy, Andy, we um, I, I know the Big Rock's first donation to the band was was uh, brought on by a tragedy, a, a fire that burned the uniforms, and I know the tournament helped um, helped replace some of those uniforms. But their ongoing needs for the band. Tell us, uh, tell us about the donation that you received from the Big Rock this year. Certainly. So we have a you know a, a band practice field that's not you know at, at athletic grade, and we constantly have kids that have twisted ankles, knees, you know, on that field because it's not, you know, never where it needs to be. And so we applied for the grant to see if we could get that field in a in an athletic grade shape because we talk about our band kids as they're athletes too. They're, uh, it, it's the sport of the arts, marching band. We call it the sport of the arts. And uh, so Big Rock stepped in and we're getting a brand new athletic grade field for our marching band. And so it's going to be um, – you know, uh, we're bringing in sides, so it's going to be smoothed out and flat, so we're not going to have those injuries like we normally do, and uh, it's going to be exciting for these kids yeah. to be able to use that field. Yeah, Andy, I know, you know, uh, I can remember back to the football days here, I can remember the two-a-day thing, you know, and uh, as a high school student, but maybe people might not understand the, the dedication that's involved in right. being a member of the marching band. Yeah. Tell us about some, some of that. I know some of the, you, you guys practice just like the football team does. Yeah, so we're, we're not held to the same standards as the North Carolina Athletic St Association, so we can kind of uh, deviate from that a little bit. But we, uh, we, do, we just finished a two-day uh, camp last week, and then we'll come back the end of July and we'll have a week camp. 
uh, end of July, and then we have our long band camp the first week of August. It's like a 13-hour day. So we go from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Yeah, all yeah. day out there. Yeah, and when the wind's blowing out the northeast, I can hear you in my house. <laughs> 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 and, it, and it's a great sound. You, you know, again, you get back to that to – that, um, concept of an investment when you can invest in the the life of a of a child like that not only with money but with your time like like you guys do i know it's a it can be a thankless job sometimes but um but first of all thank you for for your commitment to the youth of carter county for your dedication to west carter high school and uh you know with with a lot of pride we, we give you that money uh this year and hope to be able to do so in the future so Daniel, thank you thanks for so uh, th much. thanks for uh, for being with us today, and good good luck in the upcoming football season. Thank Same you to you, Troy yes. and Andy. I know you've got a lot getting ready to happen yes, with sir. the West Carter Band, so thank you guys for uh, thanks for being with us here. First of all, but mostly what you the impact you have on the lives of children here in Carter County. So, thank you. yeah. So our coverage here uh, of the 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament continues. Uh, we do have a couple of more fish boated. We'll have you some ETAs on that here shortly. But stay with us right here uh, on Big Rock TV. We'll have it all for you here live. The rest of day four here, the 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament.
Welcome back to the Dockside Sunbrella Studio here, uh, right here at the world-famous Big Rock Landing. Uh, Tommy Bennett again with you here as we continue our coverage of the 63rd Annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Um, from Jarrett Bay Boat Works, our major sponsor, we're glad to welcome Peyton Lanier. Uh, Peyton is one of the engineers and on the design team at Jarrett Bay. And uh, we're going to talk about some of the things that have gone on in the yard this week. But Peyton, yeah. tell us a little bit about uh, tell us a little about working for Jarrett Bay and and some new projects that are going on over there. Yes, sir, Tommy. So thank you for having us here. Um, we're we're glad to be part of the Jarrett you know Jarrett Bay being part of uh, Big Rock and everything. Obviously, it's it's awesome to have such a big tournament in your hometown. You nope. know, so we're we're happy to be here. But yeah, new construction is is busy right now. We've we've stayed busy. We're very blessed. We got three main projects going around. I'm part of our um, new construction team on our design team, like you mentioned. So uh, basically, as customers come in, you know, we deal with them, and we're we're taking their thoughts and their wishes that they want as they're out there fishing, you know, for the in the Big Rock, mm -hmm. and we're putting them on paper, and we're we're helping guide the guys getting the job done and getting the whole boat built. Yeah. So so, so I mean, everything is this this is a custom deal. Full custom deal, yes, sir. So we don't really have any production style um, as you would see at like an awesome facility, of, you know, Viking or Hatteras or or you know Regulator or any of the other production facilities. It's full custom, like you'd see it, you know up in Wanchies or, or anywhere else down in Florida, yeah. the big big areas down yeah, there. You, so. you can only imagine some somebody's fishing or they and they say, man, I wish I had that left-handed widget right there. And <laughs> That's I, it. And I'm going to call Peyton and say, I, I want that on that new boat. And we can put it right there for and you. And you have to figure it out, don't <laughs> Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Yes, we'll we'll That's make really it all work. What, what is, uh, it just reminds me, you know, tell us about some interesting things like that. I'm sure you have seen it all. Yeah, is there anything that's, that was, like you said, man, that is bizarre or, man, that is so cool? Well, recently some cool stuff on the exterior, like up in the Flybridge on the real development. We've done a chase lounge there, sun lounge. That's a really cool aspect that's really caught on, I think. The next couple boats that, you, that we're going to be putting out are going to have something really similar to that. So I think the owner really like that you know yeah. kind of really lounging while they're headed out to go fish that's a really cool aspect um some of the flooring to be honest with you it's so simple but yet it's so uh just detailed and so pretty when we're finished with that handmade yeah. wood wow. flooring wow. it's i it mean those things are really cool so how, how do you figure this stuff out it takes a lot of work our team i mean it's not just me don't promise you our, our team that we got we got you know there's about five or six of us that are working day in and day out and with the foreman also getting their opinions on things of how we can make this all together it takes a lot of teamwork and, 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 I guess and we pull it all together and i guess it's kind of like the best laid plans too you've got this thing in your mind and yep maybe something's got to change right in the middle of the whole thing it you've does. got to be nimble enough to, to change it i'm sure absolutely every time the owners come to visit you know we're dealing with them and and not dealing with them i should say but we're, we're with them we're, we're sure. consulting with them we're, we're taking all their wishes like you said putting it on the paper, yeah. figuring out how to make yeah. all those little nuances work yeah. and make it happen. Yeah, so you mentioned three projects. Sizes for yep. those? So I guess I'll start in the least uh, furthest along in the build right mm -hmm. now, which is okay. Hull 65. Um, that boat is a 64-footer. It's going to be a local boat fished here, and we're really looking forward to, to finishing that boat. Right now we're just starting to kind of put the preliminary design together for the cabin and the flybridge. So the hull's built, it's turned over, and like tanks are in, the Ford floors are in, the walls are in. So it's, it kind of looks a little bit naked, I should say, right now. Um, it doesn't have the cabin or flybridge, but that's coming soon. Um, the second one in line is hull 67. Um, it's a 55-footer. That's a really unique boat for us. It's going to be kind of more like the Grander or like the Privateer. It's not going to be a traditional convertible sport fisher for us. It's going to be an open bulkhead boat. Kind of the salon area that you traditionally have is all going to be painted, painted white. And wow. it's going to be a, have a helm down there. And then also have a helm up on the flybridge. So that's going to be a really unique build for us. It's okay. a cool little 55 open convertible is what we're calling it. Um, and then the most recent or the, the most furthest along build we got right now is Hull 66, and it's about to be delivered. We're really excited well, to deliver that boat. A lot, lot, I tell you, um, a lot happens very slowly, and then it's like in the last month, it's like you're finished. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it happens it's so fast. Yeah, it's so fast. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, I know uh, being at the boatyard uh, and building something new is is exciting, Peyton. 
But during the week of the tournament, uh, Randy's drumming up business for you about as hard as he can. <laughs> he is. Um, I know. He is. And, and you, you know, the other part is that the, the boat yard, uh, the Jarrett Bay yard, provides a great service to the fleet here. Um, last year, for example, the Floridian. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, Unfortunate what happened to them. Tragic. Pull Any, them out. Anything else that's uh, unique or something this year? I know Randy's had you probably had you hopping. Definitely a few phone calls on things. Um, you know, like today, I think there were some engine failures. We got on the horn and got kind of got some of that sorted out and just get getting our mechanics and everybody involved with what, what these guys need out offshore. And this is a good way to relay, relay all that information right. back and forth. We hauled um, – I think we hauled the waste knot one of ours the other day to do a simple prop change. Um, I think to date we have over 300 haul outs at the yard so far wow. um, this year. Last year we had 700 haul outs or a little over 700. So, I mean, if you do the math, there, that's and you're close right. to two yep. a day. Yep. You know, it's, yep. it's, and it's you're right on track. Right there. Yeah, you're so right on track. It's, it's a lot. It's always busy, uh, but that's what it's all about. Yeah. Now, now, speaking of, of busy and visiting the boat yard, it is a fascinating place to visit. Um, and I, I hope you know the answer to this. You can take a, you can arrange for a tour of the boat yard. Absolutely, I want to definitely mention that. We want everybody. If you you know call the main office, we'll get you scheduled up with any of the um, any of the guys that are running tours out there. We'd love you to come by and, and walk through new construction, walk through the yard projects, and see all we got to go. We got 128 acres out there, Tommy, yeah, and yeah. it's 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 a big complex. There's a lot to see, and it you know it takes a little time, but. But Paul, the guy showing us around, you can hop on the bus with us, and he, he does a great job touring yeah. around, but come see us. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Um, ha having been there a number of times, it is worth the trip to the Jarrett Bay Boat Works yard. Absolutely. Uh, there's come no see question us, about sure. it. Uh, an, an adult uh, play store, for <laughs> sure, particularly if you're in the woodworking uh, field, yes. it will just blow your mind what happens out there. And, he, and even if you're not, it's just interesting. Uh, it, and here, here it is right here in uh in beaufort here in carter county well peyton yes, um I, I know you're busy thanks for oh. we'll thank randy for letting you take a little time off I to slide that. over thank here you. I, I, I don't i'm not sure if you won or lost the bet <laughs> but maybe when you leave we hope you feel like you've won the bet won well, the bet but I'm um definitely so. anyway peyton thanks for thank thanks you, for Tommy. taking your time yes, thanks sir. for a, a great explanation of everything that happens at jerry bay Absolutely. and of course from from all of us here at the big rock you know uh, take back our thanks uh, to, to all the fellows over there for everything sure they will. do for us, not only as our major sponsor, but as a great service to the fleet. So, Absolutely. Uh, no so problem. Peyton Thank Lanier Tommy. here uh, with us, an engineer on the design team over at Jarrett Bay Boat Works, of course, our major sponsor. And, uh, again, we thank Peyton for taking uh, his time with us today. So stay tuned with us. We're here for the rest of the day. Uh, coverage uh, with you here until 7 o'clock when our scales close or until that last blue marlin is weighed in. So stay with us right here on Big Rock TV.
Okay, thank you for staying with us here on Big Rock TV. I'm pleased to be joined again by Curtis Strange uh, here as fishing has wrapped up. Curtis, on yes, day four, uh, it's a few minutes after 3 o'clock, we have already seen a, uh, well, not maybe a shakeup in the leaderboard, an addition to the leaderboard. Yeah. The Dancing Outlaw uh, has decked a 419-pound blue marlin to move into third place. And Curtis, seemingly uh, out of nowhere here, all of a sudden the fireworks that maybe we have been looking for mm -hmm. uh, have gone off in the 63rd Big Rock Tournament. Well, there's a reason for it. And uh, we didn't know why until we had uh, Joey Rivenbark on the uh, Way the Fish on the Dancing Outlaw early. I had a chance to speak to him when everything settled down after photos and the whole lot. But he said he found some bait just in the deep in about 100 fathoms. Uh, and first bait he's found all day long they knew he was on some bait more boats came in and there was a pot of fish that's basically what's going on and we don't know for a fact these these three fish that have been boat if they actually added that pod where they are in the in the ocean but right now he said there's some action out there just in the deep and uh yeah, there's, you know, there, for there, there's an awful lot of territory it is kind of oh, like looking yeah, for yeah. a needle in a haystack in it and and uh, you know obviously uh, boat captains are looking for bait uh, we're looking for water temperature, and if you can find those two things together, as Casey Wagner told us yesterday, you can catch the right fish on the right well, day. Well, and also the eddy change with the current, which is pushing that bait fish in an area, which brings in bigger fish. So Casey knows better than we do, but bottom line, that's what's going on, and they found something yeah, out there today. Absolutely. So, so right now we're looking at the widespread. Um, they have boated a blue marlin. Preliminary ETA for them is 715. They're way up north. Yeah, probably yep. are, and sounds like yep. maybe a little bit farther offshore yep. as well. Uh, the outnumbered uh, 65 Viking, they have a blue marlin in the boat. Looks like their ETA is 430. Mm -hmm. And the anticipation just boated a blue marlin here on day four. And we're in, um, Curtis and I are waiting to hear a, um, an ETA on them. Uh, I think the other the other news of the day to me is the the wave paver has moved into first place in the release mm -hmm. division, so th so they've had a good day. Uh, the Anita Jean had a good day, a local boat. Uh, the Bill Collector in second place with two blue marlin releases. So uh, so think things are going well for the local boats, and uh, it really seems like fishing heated up here here uh, late this afternoon on day four. So. Uh, that's the story here. That's the uh, yeah, that's, that's the leaderboard. A little bit of a recap, and uh, of course we'll be with you as we we wait for three boats here on day four at Big Rock Landing with Blue Marlins, and of course we'll bring it to you live right here on Big Rock TV.
Well, welcome back to the rainy but still beautiful Moorhead City waterfront. Uh, I am here in the Sunbrella Dockside studio again, of course, and at the moment joined by Jay Westbrook, who is the principal at East Carter High School, um, the, the high school located in Beaufort, North Carolina. Jay, we're delighted to have you with us. Thanks for taking your time to be here. Um, your first year at East Carter. Well, you know how to pick them, don't you? Tell us, tell us what's going on at East Carter High School, Jay. Well, it was a great year. <laughs> uh, we're just going to leave it at that and try to, you know, we made the best out of it. Our, I want to give a big shout out to our teachers who uh, endured through four different types of schools, face-to-face, -face, hybrid, full-time. We had virtual kids, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, the Mariner staff come through uh, with their character and high standards, and we felt like at the end we did the best for kids in Carter County, our school system, uh, Board of Education, County Office. We were all in it for the kids, and yeah, we made the best out that's, of it. That's great to hear. Um, East Carter's got some got some challenges too. It's a it's a small school, right, Jay? It is a small school. We are the smallest school in uh, Carter County. We're very proud to be the Mariners. Uh, Five hundred. 20 students um, but we have over 400 of them engaged in extracurricular activities band athletics various clubs and we're very proud of having our uh, kids engaged that, that that's great and and just for those of you who, who are not from carter county and don't have an appreciation uh, for the quality of the school system here it is as good as any place you will find, and we owe that to uh, people like Jay Westbrook who do a great job. Now, Jay, you mentioned uh, extracurricular activities. I know uh, we said this is your first year as a principal. You, you, you weren't there when the Big Rock Tournament bought the entire East Carter High School band new uniforms, were you? Uh, <laughs> no, I wasn't. And uh, the Marching Mariners were 100 strong, 100 band members, uh, I've heard that story a bunch, and yeah. being able to provide that opportunity for our band is amazing. I spoke with the band uh, teacher today, Ashley Wright, um, and she was just still so thankful for yeah. the Big Rock. I, I still think it was one of the coolest grant requests we've ever fulfilled. <laughs> you, you know, uh, you, you think about it. Uh, those kids have to go out, and it's a small school. Yeah. You know, a hundred out of five hundred—that's twenty percent of the students are in the band. Yep. Um, you know, boy, I've bought many a greeting card and box of oranges from a uh, from, from a band member. And uh, heck, maybe the uh, maybe the fine people of Beaufort didn't have to uh, buy so many oranges quite that year. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Um, and we followed up that, Jay, again, I don't think you were there, but uh, the, the band grew, you know, the, the, the uniforms, some of them need to be replaced, and we came in and bought some more uniforms. Um, this year, though, we made another donation to East Carter High School. Tell us about that. You did. As part of our modernization of learning and in our media center, uh, we updated with a lot of furniture, uh, took out probably some of the old furniture that maybe I went to school uh, in, but we got it in collaborative learning environments where kids, when we get back to school, they can come in there. The media center role has transformed a whole lot. We want kids to be able to come in. We have collaborative tables with uh, workstations on the end. We have tables kids can write on, like the whiteboards, but they can put their thoughts together. Great projects. Uh, Teachers bring them in there. They work together. Uh, that collaborative uh, workspace models a lot of the businesses and corporations yeah, that are good. doing it. That's a great today. point. Yeah, that's a great point. I hadn't, hadn't even thought about that. Well, I, I know uh, you know we've had we've had your chief competitor, uh, your chief competitors from West Carter High School over here just a few minutes ago, um, and and the, the comment then was, you know, the the money from the Big Rock is an investment in a child. And um, you know, we talked about taking something that's that's good, and you know, if you got a little bit extra money in that media center to make it the best and make it great, yes. is is it worth it? And uh, I think you're shaking your head in agreement with me. We we certainly feel like it is. So, um, Jay, I know uh, you, you you 
I detected a little bit of, of Carter County Brogue here. Did, did you really go to East Carter High School? No, I'm actually from Goldsboro. Okay, North Carolina. all right. Well, I you, think they're wearing on me. You, you kind of. Uh, it sounded like you you were an alumni of uh, of East Carter High School. And I just wanted to check there. I'm gonna have to. I was a country boy from Wayne County. Uh, that's all right. Well, I'm a country boy from Moorhead, and and glad to be one. I tell you what, Jay. Um, great things happening here. In, uh, in Carter County in the educational system. What does next year look like uh, for East Carter High School? Uh, we're so excited to get our kids back in every day, five days a week. We gotta reclaim education. We gotta come back and say, hey, we're here to support you. We, you know, for a year and a half, kids are, haven't gotten the same quality instruction that our teachers are used to delivering. We're making, uh, we're taking steps to support that learning that transition back to school we want them in school we love our kids that's why we went to school to be teachers we want them there yeah well th that's great um challenges ahead for east carter i mean how's the uh i know you're in charge of staffing things of that nature normalcy is is good how's that shaping up for you for next year oh we're in good shape uh i need a couple uh tas uh, coming on board. Uh, we're fully staffed right now with teaching. People love to come teach at the beach. Carteret County school system is awesome, and I've worked in four different school systems along my way, um, but wow, there's no place like Carteret County. Yeah, you know, I tell people, um, I, I don't do this for a living, and Jay, Jay said, let's make this short and short as sweet as possible, um, but I tell everybody, this is your chance to say what you want to say, and um, what, a, what a great commercial for the yeah. Carteret County school system. Um, I said it earlier, um, you know, the school system here is just outstanding. Uh, if you want to raise a child here, raise a family here, uh, you could pick no finer place uh, to do it, thanks to people like uh, Jay Westbrook over at East Carter High School. Well, Jay, um, thank you for your time today. We certainly wish you the very best um, with the upcoming school year. I know it's only June, but It'll be here just like that, and you know it. So thank you for your time today, and we wish you the best. All right. Thank you all, and thank the Big Rock for providing opportunities for a lot of children in Carteret County. Yeah, thank you, Jay. All right. So day four continues here. Uh, still a little bit rainy, but as I said, still beautiful. Moorhead City waterfront. Three boats bringing Blue Marlins uh, into the scales here at Big Rock Landing. And, of course, we'll have it all live for you right here on Big Rock TV. Stay with us for the rest of the afternoon.
Tommy Bennett back here with you. Um, the still beautiful and, hey, it's almost quit raining Moorhead City waterfront. I'm pleased to be joined now by Jonathan Rigsby from uh, Croatan High School. Jonathan, thanks for taking time out of your afternoon to be with us. Um, you know, we've had, uh, we've had some of your contemporaries from West Carter and in East Carter here. And, um, you know, kind of talking about this year as a challenge a, a little bit in the school business. How were things at Croatan High School this year? Uh, I think the, the first uh, couple months – just kind of getting into a new routine, if you will, uh, just trying to get acclimated to COVID and having to wear a mask and different scheduling and ultimately just trying to get the kids engaged and, and be ready to learn, uh, you know, per Carter County standards. Yeah, I know. And those standards are pretty high. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, we've got, uh, you know, we, we've talked about it several times a day, the, uh, the school system here just outstanding and we, we owe it to to people like Jonathan uh, who make it so. Um, I know you're looking forward to normal. Yes, sir, absolutely. I'm ready to get back to it, especially being a health and physical education teacher. Uh, definitely want to go back to normal and be able to maximize my time uh, when it comes to getting the kids engaged and, and active. Sure, sure. Now, um, Jonathan, the Croatan High School received a grant uh, from the Big Rock this year, $20,000. Tell us, uh, tell us about that grant and how that money's being used. Yes, sir. So the when the school opened in 1998, um, they, we got new weight room equipment. Well, that weight room equipment was you know 20 plus years yeah. old. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I had a lot of help from the administrators, um, and we got to write a grant. Uh, and I wrote a grant for twenty thousand dollars to get new weight room equipment to renovate the weight room, and uh, you know they they blessed us with that, and I was able to maximize that money and great. Uh, the, the the weight room seems to be the like the new thing at all the high schools. Tell you know what? Tell us about that. Uh, well, at Croton, I and I can't speak for the other two schools, but I think we kind of rely on that weight room. That kind of gives us the edge. And and the the teacher that was or the weight room teacher that was there before me, he absolutely you know dominated in there and allowed those kids to get stronger, and that's what kind of gave us a, a, a boost in the competition, yeah. uh, being a newer school at the time. Yeah, and, and but it's not just about the football program. It's not just about the wrestling program. This is, this is general health and fitness. Yes, sir, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The, the weight room is not just used for sports. It's used as a classroom setting, um, and it, we teach them all the basics uh, and, you know, even advanced uh, weightlifting and powerlifting. Yep. You, you look like you could qualify for the team here at the weigh station. I tell you, <laughs> I tell you what, we, we might get you a new job here in, right. the, in the summertime. Uh, you, you, look, you look like you could handle one of those boys over there and one of those blue marlins that we've got, gotten ready, or we're getting ready to see here too. Um, Jonathan, you're involved in the football program, the wrestling program, the basketball program. Um, Tell us about the, the wrestling program at Croatan. Excellence across the board there in the wrestling program. Uh, yes, sir. So uh, I am actually a product of Croatan High School. I uh, graduated there and was a, a part of the wrestling program under Coach Perry. Uh, he is still there. Um, and, you know, everybody you know everybody I talk to says, you know, what do you guys, you know, what do you guys drink? What's the water in there? Well, <laughs> it's not necessarily that. We, they just they come in there with some grit and some – and want to work hard and want to get better, and they see those those uh, those years on the on the banners. You know how many regionals and conference champions we want, championships that we've won, and they just you know they want to you know capitalize on that and keep putting those numbers on there. Yeah, and I mean, and wrestling is a is an individual sport, you know, but a team sport at the same time. I mean, you know, you kind of win and lose as a team. Um, it, it seems to me very reminiscent of what we're doing here. Uh, there's a there's a a lot of preparation. There's a lot of dedication. There's a lot of hard work, and and you better learn it at at an early age. It seems like. Yes, sir. Yeah, wrestling is one of those sports that um, isn't going to be easy when you walk through the door. Um, and I think those kids, you know, understand that. You know, at the beginning when when they start when they hit the ground running on that wrestling mat. Yeah. Well, nothing easy is worth as uh, I'm. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> nothing worthwhile is is never easy that's for sure i mean it takes some it takes some work and dedication um you know look, looking at um, at the upcoming year 
how are, how are things shaping up at Croatan High School? Uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll kind of just pick up where we left off. Um, you know, we kind of really haven't had a break because uh, all of our sports were in the second half uh, of the semester, and we just kind of kept going, and we're rolling right back into football. We just finished in March or yeah. at the beginning of March. Yeah. So, Are um, they still playing high school sports? Uh, I believe in Is different – yeah, so baseball still mm-hmm. still playing. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, wrestling has state – Finals coming up in two weeks. Still after school is out. Yes, sir. Yeah. How's yep. that impacting uh, the, the young people? I mean, can they can they have a job in the summertime? And uh, absolutely, they can yeah. have a job. I mean, I obviously mean, with with, with, a, with a state wrestling tournament coming up. You know, it seems like most of that would be done before school is traditionally out. Yes, sir. Yeah, every, mostly every sport is is done before school is out. Um, but I guess with this year being different, sure, I'm different. sure the I'm sure the owners of of especially the the big, big, heavy populated spots for tourism, uh, they kind of they look out for the kids to be able to participate in their great, sports. Great, great, great. Well, certainly, uh, Jonathan, a lot of great things going on here in Carter County and particularly in our school system. Again, we owe, um, you know, you a debt of gratitude for, for your service. And, um, you know, you know, being a teacher sometimes is not the easiest thing in the world as you've lived through this year. But we certainly joined together with you from the Big Rock family, wishing you and uh, and the entire Croatan High School a great year. And I thank you again for taking your time time to be with us. And uh, it's great it's great to hear how that Big Rock money is being used out at Croatan High School. Thank you. All right. So day four coverage continues right here from the Sunbrella Dockside Studio here on the beautiful Moorhead City waterfront. Uh, three boats coming in this afternoon with Blue Marlins uh, competing for that record purse. A whole pile of money here at stake. And, of course, we will be with you, bringing it to you live right here on Big Rock TV. Stay with us.
Do you need a test? Yeah. Hello. Oh, test. hey, that sounds good. All right. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Carly from Big Rock. Welcome back to day four of the 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. We have a lot of action coming up. We have three boats bringing in Blue Marlin, so stay tuned for that. I think Outnumbered will be here around 4.30. Then we have another boat coming in at 5.30 and 7.15, so you don't want to miss out on the action, so stick around. Come shop with us if you're on the Moorhead City waterfront or shop online today. Everything with drinkware ships for free with code THIRSTY. Right now, we're going to do a Jarrett Bay giveaway featuring a trivia question from a marine engineer from Jarrett Bay, Peyton Lanier. He is brilliant. Hey he, we did a tour with him of the facility, which you can take your own tour of Jarrett Bay. Yep. Just book through them online. But here's Peyton with that trivia question. All right, guys, we got a trivia question for you. So last year in 2020, what hull number and name of the boat almost won the tournament, came in second place? Last year in 2020. Do we have any guesses? Got, uh, anything? Anything? <laughs> any guesses? I got a giveaway for you. So this guy is a local so, legend. Yep. What? Sea we gotta, Striker. All right. Sea Striker. All right. Give have, me a whole number. Whole number. Got to have a whole number. Oh, we're close. We got some right numbers ish. What, what do we got? Nope. Not whole number one. Nope. Not quite. No, 32 is really close. close. How about anything over here? 35. We're getting close. How about Michael Jordan is a hint? Oh, wow. That was too many. All that right. Was too easy. I, I got to go had, with her. Yeah. She had C Striker first. So she did. She did she a good is. job. <laughs> so just meet over here and I'll get you covered. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's, All right, guys. That was great. I think the 23 definitely, <laughs> the was, Michael Jordan I, definitely I, gave that it away. That was a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, stay tuned for more giveaways right here on Big Rock TV. And we'll be coming back to you soon for all the action at the scales. Fans, we're waiting on the um, outnumbered here, 65 Viking. Apparently going to be here shortly, but we've got our first dolphin of the day. You know, there is a daily prize here. Excuse me? Payroll. On the boat, the payroll, this beautiful uh, regulator here that you see, center console boat tied up here at Big Rock Landing. Again, our weekly leader here in this category is 41.4 pounds. I don't think that's going to do it here. But there still is a $2,000 prize 
for the daily dolphin winner. Thousand dollars for second place. This one at 14.3 pounds. On the payroll, Bryce Anders, our angler. Yeah, come on up here. Let's make some memories right here. You know, you get to back your boat in here at Big Rock Landing, see all these folks who are cheering for you. Have that picture made. What a thrill. Thanks, guys.
want to say something? Okay. You sure? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. You sure? I mean, we, we no, love no, to, I'm good. I'm good. to no, just no, no. recognize I'm you. I'm just giving him a hard time. I know. I give him one, too. We'd love to recognize you. Don't, don't run off. Don't go anywhere. I'll buy you a beer tonight. But, but we, got, we do have to. I got to put Curtis. I got to put Curtis to work here in just a second. Speaking the term. Yeah. That's what we let's, just, let's just kind of do what we did. Wait a second. Huh? Where are they? Check, check, check. Right away. Let's go. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, four. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. We got a boat there with you a big go. old fish on it coming down to straightaway right here on the final turn. All right. We have yeah, no the, idea how big, but we never know. The outnumbered will be here in just a few minutes. A 65 Viking, and uh, we are looking forward to welcoming them to Big Rock Landing. Curtis, let's take a look. Um, you know, what, what we're looking at here, 419.3 pounds, third place earlier uh, today. Anything over 400. That's all we're looking for, 400 or, or 110 inches. But it needs to be 420 to play so far this week. Yep, so just to give you an idea of the fishing today, um, 12 blue marlins caught and released, 10 white ones, six sailfish. So uh, the fleet is is picking away at it, but certainly the story of the day is going to be four blue marlins uh, right here on day four. So um, let's take a look. The outnumbered should be here in just a few minutes, uh, followed by approximately at 5.30, the anticipation, and then uh, later on this evening, about 7 or 7.15, the widespread will be here. I don't know about all you guys, but I'm going to be having a cocktail at 7.15, okay? <laughs> yeah, I, I, apparently I got to be and here I'm, and work, Curtis. Thanks and, so and much. A and I'll be behind a lot of these people here behind the rope. So, <laughs> anyway, when they come in, give them a warm Moorhead City welcome. Yeah, we're looking for 419.3 to shake up our leaderboard here. Uh, the 40, 63rd, excuse me, the 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. idea where the hell this boat is okay <laughs> i'm just the messenger okay uh we heard it was at the port uh we hope it's at the port we don't see it yet we got him I see him right here. He's right there, people. The outnumbered. You know where he is now, Curtis.
All right, let's welcome the outnumbered here to Big Rock Landing. You can see his flag there on his outrigger. White flag, blue marlin. Right side up means he's got a fish in the cockpit. You know, the boat names are really cool here. Outnumbered, apparently we've got a, uh, a dad and his three daughters and he is outnumbered. <laughs> Yes, sir. Okay, I think this is going to do it. Let's give a proper Big Rock welcome here to Outnumbered. Come on in, fellas. There you go. A lot of smiles there. How about it? All right, what you're going to see here is our way station crew is going to hop in the cockpit here in a minute, take a couple of measurements, and then we'll pick, your, pick her up, I guess. And while we're waiting, let, let's just check that leaderboard. You saw it here earlier today on the Dancing Outlaw, 419.3 pounds. In second place, I uh, weighed in on the first day on the following seas, 448.8 pounds. And, of course, our leader and winner of the fabulous Fisherman's Level, currently leading the tournament, 521.6 pounds. So that third place fish is 419.3. All right, guys, I said when they start picking this up, the louder you cheer, the heavier it's going to be. And we need to encourage our way station guys here, too. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, here we go. That's it, keep on cheering for them here. This is harder than it looks. Very well done, outnumbered. Five twelve point four. Five hundred twelve point four pounds. Vaults right into second place here at the record setting 63rd Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. High fives all around in the cockpit. Lots of smiles here at Big Rock Landing. Just to let you know, we're going to let the crew take plenty of pictures. We're going to make some memories right here at Big Rock Landing today. And we'll try to talk to uh, certainly the angler, maybe the captain as well. But this is your new second place Blue Marlin here at the 63rd Big Rock Tournament. All right, let's get some more smiles here. Second place prize money, $453,700. Still a couple of days left to go, though, but I tell you what, that's a good-looking number right there.
All right, Big Rock fans, I'm joined by Billy Thompson, the angler here on the out number today. Billy, congratulations and welcome to Big Rock Landing. Uh, thank you very much. I love being here. Second time, it's fantastic. People are great. Fishing was fantastic. Great captain right over here, James Breen. <coughs> Put us on the fish. All I had to do is reel it in. Oh, yeah, you make it sound real simple. How, how long did it take, Billy? I think right about 40 minutes, somewhere in there. Yeah, it could have been 30. But Time flies when you're having fun, I know. Tell us, uh, tell us about your day just in general. Uh, calm. Uh, Pringles are a big secret. <laughs> Another one, Lucky Charms. <laughs> Fishermen aren't superstitious, are you? Pop-Tarts, Pop-Tarts. I'm a Pringles and Pop-Tart guy. If you bring them, you're going to catch fish. Um, when did you know that this fish was, uh, was one that you were going to take? Uh, you got close to the boat. Um, one of our mates saw it, uh, Garrett, and he knew it was a hog. So we're good. There you go. Thrill of a lifetime, I know, to be here at Big Rock Landing. Congratulations to you and the crew on the outnumbered. Second place right now. Great feeling, I'm sure. Uh, fantastic feeling. My brother-in-law and his family. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk to him. I want to get the outnumbered story here. Come, come on. This part of the story. Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell, tell us who you are and where you're from. First of all, my favorite question of the week. Kevin Somerville in Waxhaw, North Carolina. Great, Kevin. Congratulations. Welcome to Big Rock Landing. First of all, tell us a story about outnumbered here. So, uh, so I grew up with three sisters. I've got three daughters, and so the description of my life is outnumbered by females. And so the boat name. Outnumbered. Homeport, Wrightsville Beach. Good, good for you. Um, how many trips have you made now to, uh, to the Big Rock Tournament? This, this is our second year at the tournament. Okay. Great. I guess you'll be back again, too. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Fantastic time. Well, listen, it's, it's always great to have uh, families here fishing at the Big Rock Tournament, and we certainly thank you uh, for bringing the outnumbered up here. Good luck with all those gals, and congratulations. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm joined by James Breen, the captain of the Outnumbered. James, congratulations on a great day of fishing. Um, tell us what it was like from your perspective up there. Well, it's been a little discouraging the last couple of days, and you know, the fish has been a little slower, but uh, he just kind of come out of nowhere, crash bite on a long rigger, and we didn't never see the fish, never jumped or nothing, and I just seen his bill when he come up there and ate it, and I said, looked at Garrett, I said, you might want get, to get the mess ready. I don't know how big he is, but he, it was a big hole, so... Never jumped, like I said, he come up very on leader, and we, we just decided to take him. Got lucky. Yeah, I think there's a little bit more luck, a uh, uh, little bit more to it than luck. There's a lot of preparation involved in this too, isn't it, James? Yes, sir. I mean, I got two really good mates here this week, and Kevin, uh, fortunate enough to let him uh, let me run a boat this week, and you know, it's it's really an honor. You know, I've been ever since I was a little kid. You know, you always look forward to fishing a bigger rock, so to come here away a fish pretty uh, pretty special. Yep, we, we say it a lot. Uh, what, a, what a thrill to make a memory here at Big Rock Landing. Congratulations to you. Very nice fish. Uh, second place today. You know, you got two days left. Uh, what, are, what are your plans? Have you got any days left? Yes, sir. We're going to go try again tomorrow. That's the spirit. There's, there's other fish out there yet to be caught, right? Well, maybe we'll see you again here uh, tomorrow, James. But congratulations on a nice fish today. Thank you, Tommy. Appreciate it.
Well, friends, things are just starting to heat up here on day four of the 63rd annual Big Rock Tournament. Outnumbered here in second place currently. We do have two more fish to go today. And of course, we have two days of fishing left. Yeah, a couple of final pictures there from up off the bridge. Make some more memories here at the Big Rock Tournament. So congratulations, outnumbered. Well done today. Currently in second place, 512.4 pound blue marlin here on the outnumbered. All right, let's welcome on the dot here to Big Rock Landing. Their second appearance this week. No surprise that they got here early with all that horsepower back there. Beautiful boat. Looks like we got another dolphin coming up the uh, ramp here. Fourteen point three pounds is on the board right now. Again, two thousand dollars in first place money available every day. A thousand dollars in second place money, and five thousand dollars in weekly money. In all the game fish categories, the dolphin, wahoo, and tuna divisions. And of course, if you've entered the winner take all dolphin division, get a load of this, $529,000 as the first prize. Yeah.
19.6 pounds here. Taking over the lead on the daily uh, Dolphin division. Yeah. Austin Henderson, our angler here, aboard the On the Dot. Fishing started at 9. They probably left the dock about 8.30 this morning. That thing could get there in a hurry. Again, quite a thrill to weigh in a fish here at Big Rock Landing. Hey Austin, Austin, come on, come on over here for just a second. Take take just a second longer to talk to us. Well, you gonna be over here? That, that's fine. That's fine. We 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 aim to please here at Big Rock Landing. So, w welcome. Tell us about your day. Um, it was very slow at first, but we had some small mahis, and then in uh, the day had that nice bull come in, and no blue ones today, but we got one last day tomorrow. And you're gonna go tomorrow? Yes, sir. All right. All right. What's, what's our weather forecast for tomorrow? We hadn't really talked about that too much. Uh, I haven't looked so far, but in that contender right there, it'll withstand about anything you need. Yeah, I so said you, you, you fishing started at 830. I mean, at 9 o'clock, you could have left the dock at 830 and been to Big Rock, couldn't you? Yes, sir. Today, I think we left around 730 and still got there with plenty of time. Yeah, that's good for you. Well, congratulations. Always uh, always a pleasure seeing these outboards come in uh, here at Big Rock Landing. Nice fish. You're, you're in the lead for the daily prize. Who knows if it'll hold up. Congratulations. Good luck tomorrow. Yes, sir. We're always happy to welcome a junior angler here. Looks like we've got one. This is a six and a half pound dolphin. We saw the contender 44 here yesterday. Another one of the Starling children. Glad to have Hatteras, Mako, and Ranger Boat sponsoring this. Maybe we can talk to Owen real quick. Hey, Owen. Owen. Owen, come over here and talk to me for come over here and talk to me for just a second. Come on now, 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 tell us who you are and where you're from. I'm Owen Starling, and I'm from North Carolina. You live right here in Moorhead City, too? Yes. Now, you're fishing with your dad and your uncle, right? Yeah. Yes. Tell us about your day a little bit. It was fun. It was fun, you, and you caught plenty of fish, huh? No. <laughs> How many did you catch? One. Well, sometimes that one, it one uh, really does count, doesn't it? So congratulations to you, a six-and-a-half-pound dolphin. We are making memories right here at Big Rock Landing, and I guarantee you we'll see the Starlin family at the uh, Big Rock Kids Tournament in July. Owen, congratulations to you. You come back and see us anytime.
Well, friends, we got another uh, dolphin coming up here. And you'll notice uh, it's being delivered to Big Rock Landing by our chase boat out here. So there's a uh, there's a fuel dock right down here to the um, to the east of us. Some of the guys will stop there and and refuel and call the chase boat on the radio. Comes over and picks up their fish and delivers it here to the way station. This is a 7.8 pound dolphin. Not quite gonna make that 14.3 mark here in the daily dolphin division. But they get to make an appearance here at Big Rock Landing. Yeah, 7.8 pounds on the real Entless. Ethan Watson, our angler here. Jeff Watson.
Okay, another dolphin hitting the scales here on the haphazard. Yeah, 16.9 here on this dolphin moving into second place today. Again, our leader for the daily dolphin division right now on the dot is 19.6 uh, pounds. And hey, our, our, our otters have shown back up today. The uh, dinner bell must be ringing. If you can see, uh, see these otters, we're going to try to do a contest to name these things here today too. Hey, can we get Henry back over here too? Can we get can we get Henry? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Henry, come come on over here. Tell us who you are and where you're from. My name's Henry Royster. I'm from uh, Winston Salem, North Carolina. And you're a junior angler here, huh? Yes, sir, I am. Well, I want you to meet the sponsor of the junior angler category. This is Lauren Good from Hatteras, Mako, and Ranger Boats. Lauren, welcome to Big Rock Landing. Thank you very much. We're super excited to be part of the, the Hatteras family now. White River Marine Group, Bass Pro Shops, we're now here in New Bern in North Carolina. We're going to be producing all of our saltwater offerings, Mako, Ranger, and Hatteras in that facility. So you'll see a lot more of that brand here on the coast. Yeah, that was big news and exciting news, not only for uh, for Hatteras and your group, but for the rest of us, too. Um, tell us about your day real quick here. Uh, it was a pretty slow day. We caught this one pretty fast. I was hoping to be bigger, honestly. I was thinking caught it early, so I probably lost a lot of weight. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll a, a true fisherman here lost some weight on the way in. Anyway, you're in second, sp uh, second place right here in the Daily Dolphin Division. Great going. Thanks for visiting us with us here at uh, Big Rock Landing. And, Lauren, thank you for your sponsorship, too. And also, uh, the, the first place of this, you get a $500 Bass Pro gift card. So. Hey, prizes popping out everywhere. Thank you, Lauren. Congratulations. Great day fishing. Yeah, maybe we will see you back uh, later this week here. Okay, we're going to welcome the fin print here to Big Rock Landing. Another one of our local boats here. Captain Emery Ivey, Vice President of the Big Rock Tournament. Now that's a little bit nicer right there. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. -ry. Well, folks, we're, we're looking at a very nice bull dolphin here. And just to let you know, in the winner take all dolphin category where $529,000 is available. The leader right now is 41.4 pounds. I would say we're going to have a little excitement here. And while we were talking to our junior angler, it looks like the Sea Escape came in weighing a 22.2 pound dolphin taking over the lead for the day. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> all right, guys, you have a new winner-take-all dolphin leader. 48.3 pounds. Yeah. 
Yeah, a little bit more excitement here at Big Rock Landing for you today. Lots of smiles here. Emery, come on, come on, come on over here. Somebody, John, Emery, somebody. First of all, p please tell me you're in the winner take all dolphin category. Yeah, we're definitely in the winner take all dolphin category. We uh, kind of had a slow day, missed a blue marlin uh, about an hour before that, so that kind of picked us up when it came in. We didn't really realize how big it was until uh, Mr. Matt Mosley here had his hands full pulling over the side of the uh, deck. But uh, great day. Yeah, well, y'all, Emory Ivy here, captain of the Fin Print, and uh, my fellow board member, vice president of the tournament. Uh, he gets to take the reins next year. Um, Emory, tell us what this means to, to stand here at Big Rock Landing with a fish like this. Pretty good, especially when you think it might be worth uh, half a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you angling in here for just a second. Hey, Mr. John Seegers. Okay, jo John Seegers, everybody. <laughs> yeah, fr from from the ch from the chain link family, right? Yes, sir. That's us. All right. How do, how does this compare to to that? Oh man, it's a great day. It's good to be out in the water with these guys. We had a great crew and just a beautiful day of fishing. Just uh, you can't ask for much more. Yeah, lots of smiles around here. It feels good, doesn't it? It feels good to back back into this slip. That's for sure. It's amazing. Tell us about catching this fish. Very very nice dolphin. Very nice dolphin. At first, you know, we were just kind of shagging grass and didn't really realize it was such a nice fish. We saw him jump up and honestly thought he was about a 30-pound fish until we brought him over the gun on everybody. Kind of was like, oh, my gosh, we might have a chance at this thing. Well, I saw that first one you put out, and I'm thinking, hmm, need to stuff a little more lead weights than that one to make it work. But how about this? Uh, taking the lead here, uh, day four of the 63rd annual Big Rock Tournament. Let me, let me just say this number for you one more time, guys. You, you do have two more days to wait. $529,125. John Seegers, Emory Ivy, and the crew of the Fin Print in the lead here. Bumping out the low profile who snuck in here. It's right at 7 o'clock on Monday and weighed in a 41.4-pound dolphin. So... Congratulations to these guys. Again, a couple more days left of fishing. But it's got to feel pretty good to stand here right now leading the record-breaking 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament in the winner-take-all Dolphin Division. Well, friends, I would say day four here is the day we've been looking for at the Big Rock Tournament. Lots of excitement here thus far. This beautiful dolphin jumping into the lead in the winner-take-all dolphin category. And we still have two more blue marlins to weigh in. We've just heard from the anticipation. They have made the Coast Guard station here in Beaufort Inlet. So they will be with us here shortly at Big Rock Landing.
All right, here's another local boat, the Maggie. 20.1 pound dolphin. Captain Randy Bryant. Great group of fishermen on the Maggie. Junior angler. George over here in the way station just reminded me that the big dolphin stands to win more prize money than this blue marlin is gonna could potentially bring. How about that? Again, that dolphin, 48.3 pounds. You're looking at $529,000 in prize money. And our second place blue marlin here, 400 and excuse me, $453,000 in potential prize money. I got another dolphin here on the blue sky. A couple of nice ones here. Again, that 22.2 pounds is second place in the daily division. Nineteen point seven pound dolphin here on the blue sky. And as the fin print gets ready to depart, let's congratulate them on a great day of fishing. <laughs> Leading that winner take all dolphin division right here. Over a half million dollars in potential prize money could go to the fin print on Sunday morning right here at Big Rock Landing at the awards banquet. Okay, blue sky there, 19.7 pound dolphin. Looking at the leaderboard, obviously the uh, the fin print in the in the top spot, the Sea Escape, occupying that second place at 22.2 uh, pounds. Well, that'll almost do it, 21.9 pounds. Not quite gonna clip that 22.2 pound dolphin on the sea escape. Yeah, this one caught on the Desperado. Billy Bunts, our, our angler. Gray Bunt, Blunt, our captain there. Yeah, come on up here and take some pictures. Yeah, proud proud dad here, father and son.
Come on, get your picture made. I want you all to give a very warm welcome to Joy Bell. Joy is the president of the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Yes, and she and Crystal keep us all in line. We try. Are we having fun yet? Lots of energy comes in that small package with Joy Bell, that's for sure. Joy, thanks for everything you do for all of us. George loves you too, Joy. Hey, look, and while, while we're at it with Joy Bell up here, these gals up here are the absolute glue of the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. <laughs> Crystal Carly, Tyson, Madison, Andrea, the whole crowd of them keep an 18-member board straight. Not an easy task. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we are definitely outnumbered, that's for sure. But we cannot thank Crystal and her crew enough for everything that they do. What you see here is the product of their hard work. There is no two ways about it. So uh, let's, let's show all them a little Big Rock love. They deserve it. All right, so the anticipation is uh, is close by. They should be with us here shortly. We'll get our way station crew back to work here again.
Well, let's welcome our friends from the U.S. Coast Guard, Coast Guard Group Fort Macon here. We're really proud to be a great Coast Guard community here and certainly uh, rely on these guys an awful lot during the tournament. Yeah, and making memories here with the U.S. Coast Guard right here at Big Rock Landing. That's why we're waiting on the anticipation. Certainly want to thank you again for being here. Hope that you enjoy yourself on the Moorhead City waterfront. There's plenty of things to do, plenty of places to eat. And, of course, we want to remind you to maybe stop by the Big Rock store over there behind you. Pick up a hat, a T-shirt. Today is drinkware day. I think we'll ship any kind of cups or drinkware, all kinds of stuff all over the United States for you for free today. So uh, stop by the Big Rock store and help us support our local charities. All the profits there go to our, our fantastic local charities here in Moorhead City and Carteret County. We got another dolphin coming up here and some wahoos making an appearance at Big Rock Landing. Somebody's going to eat very well tonight, that's for sure. And here comes the anticipation. The anticipation of beautiful 61-foot Spencer boat out of Virginia Beach. Regular participant here at the Big Rock. Let's give them a great Big Rock welcome here. The crew of the anticipation. Blue Marlin aboard.
We got some nice, some nice wahoos on the deck over here. But they don't call it the Big Rock Wahoo Tournament. This is the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament, and the Blue Marlin take precedence here at the scales. So we'll get to you guys here in just a few minutes. All right, let's get a quick check here. Third place, 448.8 pounds. You saw the outnumbered just a few minutes ago, 512 pounds. And of course, our leader on the natural, 521.6 pounds. So that third place mark is 448.8. All right, let's give our guys a little encouragement here and cheer on the anticipation. Here she comes. All right, there she is. On the anticipation, a very nice blue marlin here. Right on time at 5.30. Remember that third place number, 448.8 right now. Four forty six point eight. Not quite going to do it, but still. Just two pounds off of taking over third place here in the 63rd annual Big Rock Tournament. We are growing accustomed to these kinds of numbers. Last year, the tournament was won by one half of a pound, believe it or not. Still a beautiful blue marlin, a great catch. And the crew of the anticipation here Very well done on day four of the record-breaking 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. So we're still going to take some pictures, and we'll talk to them here in just a few minutes.
David Nova, our angler here, Harvey Shiflett, our captain, 446.8 pound blue marlin. Not quite going to move that leaderboard. All right, I'm pleased to be joined by David Nova, who was the angler today. David, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, great day of fishing, no matter how you slice it. Tell us about your day. It was slow. Uh, we had two mahi throughout the day, and then I think around 2.30, we had a blue one come in on the right teaser, and Lee pitched a bait to him, and game on. About an hour and 25-minute fight. How'd you do through the whole thing? Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> hey, good coaching. <laughs> And how, how about your crew? Takes a lot of teamwork to do this, doesn't it? We, we have the best captain, Harvey Shiflett, and Lee did a fantastic job mating, so can't beat him. Yep. Um, when did you make the decision to take this fish? We had it up on the leader a couple of times, and we knew it was going to be close, but it was, it was a little short but thick. So um, we tried to measure it, and then it took off, and we were probably another 45 minutes before we could get it back up and, and get a good look at it, so. Yeah, I know it gets a little frustrating sometimes, Dunny. You, you, you've got to wonder what in the world is going on here. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I thought they could take it right then, but they wanted to make sure that it was going to make it. Sure, so. sure, sure. I know it's uh, it's not quite what you wanted, but but uh, a thrill of a lifetime, I'm sure, to be here at Big Rock Landing. Absolutely. The crowd here is fantastic. Yeah. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Yes, sir, it does. Yeah. Yeah. I'll trade you jobs any day. All right, guys, David Nova here on the anticipation. Uh, very nicely done. Couple of pounds short here. 446.8 pound blue marlin. Well, anticipation, congratulations. Great to have you here at the Big Rock Tournament. Great to see you at Big Rock Landing. A couple days left. Maybe we'll see you again here before the week is out. Y'all, we came up with a great idea, we think. We want to name these two otters. I need a little help over here from uh, Andrea or Carly so we can name these otters maybe. Well, no, we, we've got some suggestions. We, we've, we've been bombarded with suggestions. So we got some little groups of names and we'll try to do an elimination here. Yeah, so how about Bonnie and Clyde? What do you think about Bonnie and Clyde? Nah, Salty and Sammy? Ben and Jerry? No. Flotsam and Jetson. Ross and Rachel. Well, let's keep going. Biggie and Rocky. Milo and Otis. Surf and Turf. Well, I, I did get a raised hand on Surf and Turf over here. Who came up with these names anyway? Jarrett and Bay. Hey, all right. This one might do it. How about Rod and Reel? That's our favorite. PB and J. No. Izzy and Scoot Scoot. Who came up with this stuff? Instagram. Cuff and Link. 
Bert and Ernie? No. Seaweed and Oscar? Catch and release. All right, that's, that's a little better. Tater and tot. And whoever came up with this one needs to be fired off of Instagram. Tony and Ezekiel, I have no idea. All right, so what what'd you say? Mick and Michelle? Who? Risky and Pete? Whiskey and Pete? George and Randy. George and Randy. That might be George and Randy. Very good, George. The other George. Well, we might just make an executive decision here and call them George and Randy. How about that? All right. George and Randy, they are. Thanks for playing. All right, the real lineman was here yesterday. Another another nice dolphin, 16.7 pounds. These guys yesterday, they said they would donate anything they won back to the tournament. So uh, you got to pull for a crew like that. Not quite going to make it today. That 22.2 pound dolphin still holding up there in second place. And of course, it's going to take something to to clip 48.3 here. I know we got a couple of Wahoos over there. Yesterday, I don't know, about 6.30 or so, the real quick strolled right on in here and threw down a 66.1-pound Wahoo wow. to take the lead, a very nice Wahoo. Second place there is 11.2 pounds, and I think uh, second place is, uh, is going to get clipped here from what I can see. Another dolphin here on the Catherine Grace, 18.8 pounds. Angler Armistead Perry here. Scott Williams, our captain. Yeah, come on in here and get your picture. There you go. Welcome to Big Rock Landing. How about it? Yeah, here we go. All right, here's our first Wahoo of the day. I think that 11.2 pounds is going to uh, get clipped here. But they're just beating themselves. This was caught on the Catherine Grace also. Well, they've definitely moved up. So the Catherine Grace had the uh, second place Wahoo of 11.2 pounds. They're bidding against themselves here. 25.3 pound Wahoo. Jackson Wilder, our angler.
Folks, if you get a chance to see Wahoo on the menu around here, you ought to take advantage. Really a great eating fish. Mr. Turner, where did you come from? Howdy. All right, another 24 pound off, I mean, excuse me, Wahoo on the Catherine Grace. Jules Williams, our angler here. These guys are going to eat well, if nothing else, today. Scoring some points here. Maybe winning some money. The first and second place Wahoos of the day. You know, potential $3,000. For, for those two fish. And they're going to eat well. One more, huh? Randy, have we have we saved the best one for last here? A lot of guys would like to know where they were today. All right, twenty another twenty one point one pound Wahoo. The whole crew got into the act today. Catherine Grace with a great day of fishing. Right now, the first and second place Wahoos in the daily uh, game fish division here at the Big Rock Tournament. Yeah, get him pretty for the pitchers, Randy. Full service way station here. <laughs> yeah, come on up here. Watch your step. There you go. Watch your back. Great family affair here at the Big Rock Tournament, obviously. Lots of smiles around. That's what it's all about here. Hey, let me let me get somebody from the crew here. Send the most talkative person over. There you go. C come on. Come on. Yeah. Tell, tell us who you are and where you're from. Uh, my name is Jules Williams. I'm from Kent, North Carolina. And you've been here before. I was a couple <laughs> days ago. Luckily, these are a little bigger than the last one, but... Hey, uh, you're, you're bidding against yourself. Tell us who you are and where you're from. Uh, yes, sir. I'm Jackson Wilder. I'm from Washington, North Carolina. There you go. Tell, tell us about your day here. Lot, lots of uh, nice wahoos. Yeah, so we raised a sailfish right off the bat and didn't get them to bite. But um, after that, we started getting into a few wahoos. That's awesome. Yeah, and a great. at least we have said you'll, you're going to eat dinner uh, well tonight and for the rest of the week maybe. Tell us about your day here. Yes, sir. We had a good day. Got it, found a little bottom structure and kind of worked it and found some wahoos, so it doesn't get much better. Sure. sure. Well, congratulations to you. Great day of fishing. Right now, holding down that first and second place for the day in the, um, in the 63rd Annual Big Rock Tournament in the Wahoo Division. Congratulations, guys, and the rest of the crew from the Catherine Grace.
And folks, just so you know, let's let's get our little rule check here. The scales will stay open for game fish until seven o'clock, and of course, we will be with um, be right here at Big Rock Landing, waiting for the widespread. Really, regardless of what time they're going to be here. Right now, it looks like seven fifteen. We'll check that for you and get back to you. Um, but certainly the weigh station here will be open for game fish until 7 o'clock. And uh, we're expecting the widespread here a few minutes after. Maybe 7. Maybe right at 7 o'clock. So right on cue. George full of information. So hopefully we'll see the widespread here in about an hour or so. So stay with us. Enjoy yourself here at Big Rock Landing. Check out some of these great restaurants around you. Visit the Big Rock store. Help us uh, raise some more money for charities.
Sorry, guys. I had to go get a little drink of water and sit down for just a second. 23.4 pound dolphin does move into second place here in the daily dolphin division on the water tight. I do, my contract calls for me to get a 60 second break every eight hours, so I did take it there just a second ago. But Alex Gallagher, our angler, on the water tight, a 23.4 pound dolphin moving in second place, a thousand bucks potentially there to get picked up. Bumps the sea escape. And of course, that 48.3 pound dolphin looking pretty good right now for the daily prize, that's for sure. And leading in the winner take all dolphin category where that $529,000 prize awaits. So we are waiting on the widespread. Hopefully, be here around 7 o'clock. And just as a reminder, our scales will be open for game fish until 7. And, of course, we will be here as long as it takes to weigh in the blue marlin off of the widespread. So enjoy yourself here. It's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Nice and warm, but it just it feels great outside. So uh, enjoy yourself here. Go check out our friends from uh, the Parker GMC and uh, Honda Group over there behind you. Take advantage of visiting the Big Rock store while you can. And if you can't make it in there today, you can always visit TheBigRockStore.com and order all of your great Big Rock stuff. Have it shipped to you anywhere you want. Today is a drinkware day. So if you go in there, if you want a nice insulated cup or something, go in there and order one. We'll ship it home for you for free, of course. Oh, boy. Science jumps right back to the forefront here. What, you, what do we got here? So, Mr. Tommy Bennett was, I think he was kind of putting out feelers all day to see what uh, these uh, big dolphin fish were eating. And we finally got a, a major event of cannibalism today on the fourth day of the Big Rock. And this is a dolphin and a dolphin. So, what you see here is about uh, a 20-inch long female dolphin that was consumed by the last dolphin fish that was weighed at the weigh station. How about that? How, how old do we, in, do we think this dolphin is? So these critters are incredibly fast growing, Tommy, and this one is probably born uh, probably sometime late last fall or maybe even early this spring. So this fish is maybe somewhere between three and six months old. Yeah, I don't think we're going to pass that around too, too much. Well, I was thinking of putting it in your tailpipe so you can enjoy it. No, 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 you're not. No, you're not. You don't know where I parked either. Uh, fascinating here. Tell, tell us a little bit about what happens over here in this tent. So NC State University is keeping a long-term database of the diets of the four predator species, the four highly migratory predator species that are landed the tournament. And uh, dolphin fish are an incredibly important highly migratory species that come into the Big Rock tournament, and we're keeping a long-term database of what they eat. Yeah, I know Randy has referred to the diet study several times. So uh, yesterday we had some, um, let's see, we had a juvenile billfish. We had... Um, the remnants of a very small sea turtle. What else do we have yesterday? We had a little bit of plastic. We had flying fish. We had more cannibalism yesterday. We had sargassum. We had swimming crabs. Dolphin fish are often known as the trash can of the sea. They're a swimming trash can. They eat just about everything in the sea. So uh, we had a little bit of everything yesterday. How about that? And this was the 23-pound dolphin that ate this 20-inch uh, dolphin. How about that? Thanks, guys, for, uh, for all you do over there. Watch your step. Uh, certainly, we're... I don't know if you know or not, but this is uh, Moorhead City is one of the premier research uh, areas for marine sciences in the world. Uh, certainly, we've got the uh, CMAS facility over there at NC State. The U University of North Carolina has a marine lab here. Duke University has a marine lab here. Uh, NOAA is based here as well. So lots, lots of, uh, lots of great science taking place right here in Moorhead City. All right, we're gonna we're gonna open up the way station here for some tours, uh, and we're gonna let the children come in maybe and uh, maybe with mom and dad, take a picture, get up close with the blue marlin. George is uh, one of our otters here is gonna help us. 
if you if you want to maybe take a quick peek inside behind the curtain here at the Big Rock Tournament, George will let you in. Please be careful. Listen to George. We're going to do it one at a time or one family at a time. George is going to be your tour guide and you're uh, going to help you with your photographs. And he's very kind to do this for us. Again, you know, it's all about making memories here at Big Rock Landing. So if you want to just sneak in here real quick, you saw where uh, these other folks came in. If you want to make your way over there, George will lead you up here. George is really good at putting you in the right place. He knows exactly where to put you. So mom can take a great picture here. How about that? Yeah, Dad, come on. <laughs> George is, is great to remind me of the first Big Rock Kids Tournament coming up here in July, 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, I believe. We're expecting a great crowd celebrating kids and fishing and, of course, raising money for, um, for the Boys and Girls Club here of the Coastal Plains. Yes, ma'am. Let you. Yeah, you, you do that. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to come in and uh, take a peek behind the curtain real quick, just one family at a time, please. George will help you get positioned for the best picture. What a great souvenir to take home there. We were talking to Chloe Michaels yesterday, who is a Ph.D. candidate here in Moorhead City, and she said she did this several years ago when she was a child, was fascinated to the point that she is dedicating her educational life to the study of blue marlin and other offshore species. She's now a Ph.D. candidate here living over in Indian Beach right here in Carter County, and it all started right here at the Big Rock Tournament, just like this. Yeah, and we're also, Carly's going to come over here. I'm going to get out of the sun for a second. All right. We're going to do a little giveaway here. All right, you guys, get excited. We are here back with Jarrett Bay Boat Works. We have Caitlin and Peyton here to do a lot of giveaways. We've got some koozies, stickers, a lot of goodies. They are going to grill you guys about Jarrett Bay. So if you're a boat enthusiast, get ready. This is your chance to win. I'm going to pass over the mic. I'm going to pass the mic to Caitlin, and she's going to tell you how to win. Hey, y'all, how are you? Oh, we got to get some more excitement than that. Come on. Okay. All right. That's a little better. We're going to try to give some stuff away. Caitlin's going to got some questions for us about, uh, you know, just Jared Bay questions. What do you think we're going to ask? So, Caitlin? Let's, should we start with the let's easy start with, ones? Let's start with some easy ones for him. Okay. Well, we think it's easy, but well, maybe think it's, it's easy. not. Yeah. What year was Jarrett Bay founded? Hey. hey! We got one over here. We got a winner. Here, I got, I got some koozies for you here. Koozies and stickers for you. Pass it back. Pass it back. All right. So we're celebrating our 35th year this it's year. It's a big year for Jared Bay. It is. So we are excited about that. All right. How about another one? Let's do another one. We can do another one? Yep. All right. This, this if you were here yesterday, you got to be real fast. got to be quick. Quick on your feet. Because you might know the answer. How many Jarrett Bay boats are fishing in the Big Rock Tournament this year? Jarrett Bay boats. Oh, I heard it. 21, 21 over here somewhere. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. We hope that we'll see one in here with the Marlin this week. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. That would be mm -hmm. absolutely phenomenal. Be great. Come on, guys. we got to get these captains on the, on the ball here. All right. All right. Now we're, we're going to get us some tougher questions. Yeah, this is a tough one. All right. Let's get them some tough ones. So... 
This we, is in Caitlin's department at the Jarrett Bay store. So we also have a Jarrett Bay home furniture collection. And this is relating to the furniture collection. What Jarrett Bay boat name did we use to name one of our chairs? Yes. Oh, that was good. That was I like quick. that. That was very quick. Here you go. You got one? All right, we got All right. one more question. One, one more. more cozy prize pack. What's our last one more. question? Last one. Do we already do that one? Yeah. That last no, no, no. One? We got to do last one. Street you name? Just, yep. Okay, our last question. What is the street oh, hey. name where Jarrett Bay is? The name of the street. Sensation All right. Way. I like it. Very good. Sensation Way. Thank you. Thanks, Anthony. Okay. That's All right, it. guys. Thank you. We'll be back. All that's right, it. you guys, stay tuned. We still have one more boat coming to the scales with the Blue Marlin. Will that take first place? You'll just have to stay tuned to find out. And, and while we're talking about Jerry Bay, we certainly want to thank Randy Ramsey uh, for manning the radio for us. Believe it or not, there are 68,000 people who ought to be at work who listen to Randy every day on the radio. So somebody, all those 68,000 people that listen to Randy every day, They're obviously big fans. I think we got another giveaway coming here too.
Okay, while George is continuing his tours here, we do have another, another giveaway sponsored by Napa. The Napa know-how people, of course, the Walker um, Auto Group has, uh, has a really nice store here in Moorhead City and all over uh, eastern North Carolina. Hey, the prize today is a very nice Craftsman 40-piece, uh, looks like a socket set. Anybody would be happy to take this home. The, the mystery uh, item is here in this box. It's obviously pretty big, but not too heavy. So our first clue is that it's sold at a Napa Auto Store. Okay, so if you want to guess, then, I mean, I might just keep the uh, wrenches myself. It's what? Somebody go over there and help me here. A wheel weight. Nope. Not an air filter. Not an air freshener. It's not a speaker. It's not a life jacket. Not a seat cover. A torque wrench. It's not a torque wrench. Okay. All right. So I'll give you a clue. Choose Napa ride control. No, it's not a shock absorber. It's not an air pump. Better stopping distance and smoother ride. It's not brakes. Not a windshield wiper. I guy over here was pretty close, but we, we got to be very specific. I'm glad this is, this is going much better than the last ones. It's not a brake drum. It's not brake pads. Our guy that said shock absorber over here was very close. It's what? Nope. It's not a spring. Somebody said, what do you say? It's a strut. There you go. How about that? If, if Henry Hinton were here, he'd say you're a stinking genius. Good job. Thanks for playing, everybody. See, so guys, that family's got the right idea. Decked out, every one of them in a Big Rock shirt. The children in a Big Rock kid shirt. Having a great time and helping us support our local charities here in Moorhead City and Carter County in eastern North Carolina.
All right, everybody, let's thank George Lott here for all of his help. Thank you, George. All right, we got about 30 minutes left here. Of course, the scales will be open, as I said, for game fish here until about 7 o'clock. And uh, hopefully the widespread will be here at about the same time. So a little bit of excitement left. Um, it's probably dinner time here, too. So just enjoy yourself here on the Moorhead City waterfront. Take advantage of these great restaurants. Enjoy a nice walk here. Feels great out here at Big Rock Landing. Just enjoy yourselves here while you're here at the 63rd Annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Yeah, guys, help George out here a little bit. We've got to, um, we're going to bring a truck in here and take these blue marlins off to Seamast uh, over at the NC State University campus here in Moorhead. And while we're doing that, I do want to remind you, you can find the Big Rock Tournament on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. When you go to work tomorrow, you can sit there and be one of those 68,000 people that listen to Randy every day. Or if you can't be here tomorrow, you can be one of the couple of hundred thousand people that watch us here every day on a live stream, either on our website at thebigrock.com or on Facebook or our YouTube channel. And if you're watching us there, Help us out a little bit. Subscribe to the channel. Ask for some notifications. You can throw us some stars on Facebook. All those great things. But tell your friends about it. Take a picture here and mark yourself as being here at the Big Rock Tournament.
All right, guys, let's welcome the top dog here to Big Rock Landing. You will remember them as the winner a couple of years ago. Came in here in dramatic fashion and set a tournament record with a 900 plus pound blue marlin right here at Big Rock Landing. A great group of guys, great fishermen, having a great year. Already had some tournament success in Hatteras this year. One of the best logos in the fleet, too, by the way. And they're going to deliver a uh, Big Rock Big Hero, I think, to Big Rock Landing. Yeah, these guys have been here before. I don't. All right, guys, no Big Rock Big Hero uh, on this boat today. They did have one a couple of days ago, and we certainly want to thank them for their generosity in taking a Big Rock Big Hero fishing with them. And they've done it every year that they've had a chance to. It obviously pays off. This was your winner here a couple of years ago. Record-setting 900 plus pound blue marlin is bigger than the scales just about great guys here worthy champions great fishermen and it's always great to see them here backing into the slip at big rock landing a 20.6 pound dolphin today not quite going to bump that 23.4 pound dolphin on the water tight and of course, checking that leaderboard, 48.3 pounds on the fin print. A very, very nice dolphin. Currently in the lead in the winner take all category, looking at that $529,000 prize. So scales are open here a little bit longer until seven o'clock for the game fish. And of course, we're awaiting the wide spread here. They ought to be long, we think about seven, 7.15 or so. I'll check up there with Randy and, and see if we've got an ETA. Maybe George knows. Todd says the top dogs got one more day, so we stand a chance to see them again. And I got the word, looks like we're still shooting for seven o'clock here for the wide spread. Let's check that leaderboard too. Leading the Blue Marlin division, the natural 521.6 pound Blue Marlin. In second place, you saw it just a few minutes ago, 512.4 pounds. And currently in third place, that third place weight that we're looking for, 448.8. 12 blue marlin releases today, 10 white marlin, six sailfish. As we get ready to wrap up day four, we've got two days of fishing left. Sounds like the weather's going to be very nice tomorrow. Might be a little bumpy on Saturday. Maybe most of the fleet will leave the dock tomorrow.
All right, folks. A little bit ahead of schedule. Here comes the widespread. You can see you can see their outriggers over here. Over here to the southeast. You see that white flag with the blue fish on it, the blue marlin. Right side up means they have him in the boat. If it's upside down, that means they've had a blue marlin release today. So let's get ready to welcome the widespread here to Big Rock Landing. This is a 51-foot crown marine. Looks like out of Oregon Inlet. A lot of good fishermen up there. A lot of good fishermen in Moorhead City, too. All right, so let's welcome the widespread here to Big Rock Landing. Yes, sir. A very nice Big Rock welcome to the captain and crew of the widespread. Y'all have kind of seen the drill here today. We're going to get them tied up. Way station crew is going to hop on board, take some measurements, and then we're going to put them back to work. All the folks at home are getting a great view of this. Again, let's just check that leaderboard. 448.8 is the third place fish. You saw that miss by just a couple of pounds a few minutes ago. And as I said earlier, last year's tournament was won and lost with a half of a pound in weight difference. We're attached here. Remember, we need to encourage our way station crew a little bit. And of course, as I say, the louder you cheer, the heavier it's going to weigh for sure. Yeah, that's the idea right there. Very well done here on the widespread. Up and over we go. How about that for a blue marlin on the widespread? There you go. What do you think? All 
All right, again, that third place number, 448.8. Here we go. 479.2. The leaderboard has moved here in dramatic fashion at the end of the day of day four. Bumps our first day leader the following seas off the leaderboard. 479.2 pounds. Well, folks, there you go. There's your new second place. Excuse me, your third place Blue Marlin. I'm sorry. 479.2 pounds. Right here on the wide spread. Again, checking that leaderboard, 521. In first place, 512. In second place, and here is your new third place fish, 479 pounds. All right, so the widespread is entered in all the divisions of the tournament. Again, your third place prize money here, $301,800. A little thumbs up there. I know it's great to be excited, but it is uh, the end of day four, two days of fishing left. Y'all take all the pictures, take all the time you need.
All right. Here's our angler. Tell us who you are and where you're from. I'm uh, Luke Perong. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Luke, tell us, is this a is this a charter or a family group? What's the story here on your on your crew? Yeah, so it's a charter boat out of Oregon Inlet, but it's my dad and his buddies. Okay, so your so your dad is the uh, owner and captain. No, sir, Captain Jay. Okay, but your your dad and all of his buddies is the charter this week. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Got, gotcha. So tell us about your day today. Tell us about your day. Um, you spent all afternoon fighting a blue marlin. Let's tell these people what it's like. Yeah, so I was inside the boat watching the U.S. Open, and everything's going wild outside. So I ran out there. They were yelling, get in the chair. I got in there. And, and I mean, props to Captain Jay. He always puts us on the fish. And, I mean, I know why they call it a fighting chair now. It's a battle. <laughs> How many blue marlin is this for you? Number one. Oh, boy, you're going to get wet today, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so just so you know, the tradition is your first your first billfish, you get tossed off the boat or the dock, so maybe the crew will handle that somewhere. I don't know about here. You'll need to talk to you'll need to talk to Randy about that. All right, now I'll jump in. So this is my brother right here. Two years ago when he was my age, he, we weighed a fish here. Um, he beat me about three pounds, which I wish I could have beat him, but I'm his age now, and I got to weigh one, so that's a cool experience. Well, that, that's what it's all about. Hey, c come on. Come on. I also want to also, my dad's worked for the Kellogg family for over 20 years, and I got to apologize to the Kellogg's. We didn't mean to knock you out of third place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it is a small community of fishermen there, and, uh, yeah, they're probably not real happy with you today. No, uh, that's right. That was on the, um, yeah, that was on the following seas. That's right, from Monday to Kellogg family. All right, well, Luke, congratulations to you. Great day of fishing. Thank you, guys. Yes, sir. All right. Where... Jay, yeah, yeah. If he if he's got a minute, yeah. Y'all take. Well, we can't quite we can't quite uh, coax Captain Jay Watson out of the boat, huh? Jay's better at finding fish than he is at talking. <laughs> but you know, we fished with uh, Jay for 15 years, first as a mate in the tournament, and as as uh, Luke said, which makes me really proud as a dad. Two years ago, Connor graduated from high school, weighed one. Today, Luke graduated last Sunday, came down, weighed one. Um, I just have the middle child still the weigh one, so maybe Saturday. <laughs> Hey, that's right. You got one more day left, I guess, right? Saturday, hopefully. Uh, yeah, Cole, Cole, you're in the chair on Saturday. We're going to get them all right here. Yeah, we'll say one last thing. Uh, this is a great tournament. I mean, we're fishing with the best anglers in the world, and it's just, you know, humbling to be a part of this. And to weigh a fish two years out of three just says a lot for we have a great crew, and we have a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's what it's all about. A great family time here at the Big Rock. A lot of fun. So congratulations to you and your family. Hey, it feels pretty good, right? Thanks. You got it. You got it. Okay. Yeah. All right, Captain. Captain Jay Watson, right? Yes, sir. Tell us about this fish, Jay. Sure. She was hard earned. We were seeing a lot of fish prior to this event. And we pulled off three nice fish, and finally one of them stuck. So, anyway, we need another one. I ain't really expecting this to hold up, but maybe it will. Well, you never can tell. Uh, what's our weather forecast for the next couple days? Fishable. Fishable. <laughs> well, there you go. You know, a great fish nonetheless, 479.2 pounds. There are two days of fishing left. So while there is some excitement, these guys got to suffer through the next couple of days, one of which they will spend fishing. Sounds like maybe on Saturday.
How about this? Three brothers right here. All anglers, all having success here in the Big Rock Tournament. Sounds like Younger Brothers Day is uh, Saturday. this up, okay, the whole thing. Well, friends, it's after 7 o'clock here. Our scales are going to close, certainly for game fish. Uh, but as the crew of the widespread takes a few final pictures and we prepare for them to leave, let's take a quick look at what's happened today. Certainly in the Blue Marlin Division, lots of activity. The natural stays in first place, 521.6 pounds. Uh, outnumbered sneaks in there second place, 512.4. And, of course, the widespread here, 479.2, uh, your current third place, Blue Marlin. Uh, the other big news of the day, the fin print from right here in Moorhead City throws down a 48.3-pound dolphin, jumping into the lead there for that $529,125 first place winner-take-all dolphin. We've got two days left. Boats will be leaving tomorrow. Fishing will be from 9 to 3. Saturday, fishing is from 8 to 2. And we will have everything, all the activities of uh, the remaining two days of the 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament uh, for you right here on Big Rock TV. So thanks for joining us here on the beautiful Moorhead City waterfront. Thanks for logging in on our website, listening to Randy on the radio, watching us on Facebook and YouTube, and we will be back with you for day five of the record-setting 63rd annual Big Rock Tournament tomorrow right here on Big Rock TV.